Parents of Reddit, what is one shocking secret your kids will never learn about you? I really didn't like either one of them until they were about two. I mean, they were cute, adorable little babies but I really just don't like infants. They'll never know because it sounds crappy to say, yo, you freaking sucked for a while. Maybe when they have kids, I'll let slip. That she was conceived during a threesome. Whoa. Depending on the makeup of that threesome this comment has an entirely different meaning. We had a goldfish named Steve Fish. Well, we had three of them over the course of 10 years. My youngest son thinks it was only one. Steve Fish, that's adorable. I ran over my daughter's favorite stuffed toy with my lawnmower, but I told her that the neighbor's dog stole it. I used my son's microscope to look at my own sperm. Yep, I jizzed on my kid's toy, on purpose. Could've just used a slide. My daughter was abused when she was an infant by her mother. Since then I have gained full custody and my daughter is 5. Probably never going to tell her. I'm sure my mom has no idea I know her and dad were swingers. And that despite it, she still cheated. That daddy and I don't go to dinner parties we hit up swing clubs. How many booty pics I have gotten. I wouldn't want my kids to know I can't get anyone to PM me their booty pics, either. That I've done more hallucinogens than he or his friends could ever dream of doing. I used to love LSD. That one of my sons was conceived while a random guy watched on Skype. Mom what the frick. We drove to the abortion clinic, like the time before, but backed out at the last god dang second. Son, you will never know this and I love you. That me and her dad had sex. More than once. And enjoyed it. That I think about suicide way I, I, I too much. Bless you. Please talk to someone. Nice try, kids. Frick you dad. I don't know if I'd want my daughter to know that her biological father used to beat me. I don't know how I would explain to her that the man she looks up to like her dad isn't biologically her father. I just don't want her knowing that half of her DNA comes from an abusive scumbag. That we considered adoption when my husband and I found out I was pregnant. We had just had a miscarriage and had decided to wait a few years. She was conceived the only time we had unprotected sex after the miscarriage of course all sex while pregnant was unprotected. But it didn't take long to decide to keep her. She is absolutely loved and well cared for by us. And we wouldn't have it any other way. I'm sorry. I understand that you were deeply mourning the loss of your child. But I'm confused why you'd consider adoption. Throw away. Many actually. That I was molested as a child. That I resent my parents. My history of petty crime and substance abuse, my depressive, borderline suicidal tendencies, many many other things I am not proud of. If you see me, you'd think I'm a picture perfect happy dad. Well really, I'm dancing in a circle of demons. I love my kids more than anything in the world and for their own sake they cannot ever know any of it. My dad had a love child with a woman who cuckolded her husband into believing it was his. Dad thought he took that secret to his grave. My half brother found my family about 3 years ago. Oysters, clams and cuckolds. I may reconsider this in the future, but for now I have no intention of telling my son why I was in prison. I just got out Thursday, 10 8 15, after 2 years. He asks why I was in jail, and is satisfied with the answer. Because I did a crime, he's gonna be 6 in 2 weeks and he thinks that the word crime is one of those whisper worthy words. I'm coming from a different perspective here, and I need a no stupid questions moment. I'm using the reddit account that none of my friends know for obvious reasons. I'm a kid whose parents have been trying to hide their income from me for my entire life. I'm 17, and as I'm applying to college, it's becoming more and more obvious. They want me to do everything on my own, except for things related to income. They would ask me to leave the room, fill out some forms, online or otherwise, mail it themselves for physical forms or save and continue for online ones. I felt like I was in the dark, not knowing if I need financial aid or not. I mean, we seem upper middle class, and I know they do some stock trading, 
but we have some things better than most, and yet also saved by driving old cars, older TVs and entertainment systems, etc. I asked them once about it, and they straight up told me that they thought it was none of my business. I also noticed more little things shielding restaurant checks, evading questions about finances. My question is, is this normal? Do parents generally hide income like this from their kids, even at such a crucial time? Why would they do this? I have access to one of the old online forms where they put down their income. I'm tempted to look at it, but it feels wrong, and I want additional input. I know this is only slightly related to the thread, but could I have some advice? Update. Well, to the advice of a couple of people, I checked, and the general consensus was right. They're making way more than I thought they did. I checked in with my grandparents, who disagree with what my parents are doing, but understood that they shouldn't have a say, and they confirmed it. I'm not sure how to feel now. I might bring it up at some point, and maybe what they did was the right decision. Thank you, Reddit. How much I resent that they've ruined my body. Seriously my vagina is wrecked. I hate looking at it, I hate having sex because it hurts and I just can't stand the thought of my partner seeing touching it. I even hate going for a pee because when I wipe it just feels awful. This is after corrective surgery btw. Also breastfeeding was heck and I don't like my nipples touched at all. Plus my dang feet are a size bigger and I had to get rid of my favorite shoes. See, I love my kids deeply and this is obviously not their fault. Some women have easier births, some have more difficult ones. At least I didn't die in childbirth. So yeah this is not something that affects my relationship with them. It's something I will keep to myself. Except for admitting it to Reddit but I'm fricked on painkillers now so met. Just making it very clear. I love them and they are the best things in my life. This selfish feeling does not get let out. I know that all women are different, and each pregnancy is different. My mother is a mother of eight, all the same father, purely in marriage. Anyways, after reading this, it makes me really think of what my siblings and put my mother through. I exclude myself due to being the fourth child, and only being three pounds when born. About nine. One stroke two weeks early. The type of pee I watch. I was in a bad 5 year long relationship, he introduced me to hard drugs and before long we were basically addicts, anything we could do, coke, opiates, benzos, alcohol, molly, e, it had become a problem, I ended up in $15,000 in debt, me and a married co-worker of mine told each other we would leave our significant others and be together, we did just that, I quit everything except weed, cold turkey, he filed for divorce and 3 months later I was pregnant. Now we have a beautiful son and great relationship. But I will never tell our son that months before he was conceived I was a drug addict and his father was married to someone else. One thing I hope to hide from kids for as long as I can is that I use to self harm. I haven't done it in years and have learned not to use it as a coping method. But it's something that I don't look forward to explaining to them. I talk to them about it as they hit middle school honestly. I will never tell them that doctors hate me. I will never tell them that one simple trick. That his mother cheated for most of the marriage, and his coming younger brother came because of it. We're divorcing and our son is less than two, and his brother will obviously have a different dad, but I won't crap all over his mother to him. One day he'll do the math when he's an adult that he was conceived on the floor next to my father while he was sleeping. How much I hate his mother. I hate my ex-wife more than anything in this world. I fricked their mom. So you're that guy I'm always seeing in COD. Well, our future kids are definitely not finding out I met their father at a 50 person consensual non-consent roleplay gangbang. Haha. <laughs> And my kids aren't going to find out I was a lesbian and amateur pee actress who met their father because he used to pay me to frick myself. It's best that way I think lol. Some things can remain hidden when they are young, but as they grow up it is a good choice to share with some personal experience stuff in your time, but try not smooth your experience. Be the most sincere you can be, with your feelings etc. You don't need to be the superhero, you just need to be a person and a dad. Kids will appreciate it. When they are adults 17 to 18, have a more open conservation about your own life. As an adult, my dad had a really frank conversation with me about literally anything. I asked even drugs, sex, etc. 
He didn't try to scare Emi or anything. He even confessed he tried some, but it wasn't for him. He said he was too paranoid if someone discovered he ever used it, but he confessed it was part of his adulthood. Using drugs and see it firsthand what happens when you lose control of yourself. I think most parents are afraid of drugs and how it can change their kids forever, but there are a lot more experiences that are life changing. Try share those memories of life change moments you had with them, it really can help. Exactly what I did in Afghanistan. That I didn't want any of them and can't wait to divorce their mother. You have been visited by money bird upvote in 5861 seconds and you will get rich. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check out another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.